Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the users of Bassoff to show you guys um, how to use single touch parallel um, in Bassoff. So I'm also making it for the um, user for Altus and free accounting software who are migrating from our previous cloud accounting software. Um, so I've set up this organization which is called Payroll Demo in Bassoff and I've also um, got this organization Payroll Demo in um, our previous software and I've, I've processed the payroll there. So um, to move your data across from the old software to the new one um, you uh, click on this option here export XBRLGL and click on the link to download your file. This file contains all of your data from the old system. Um, now after you've downloaded it um, you'll need to join Bassoff and I've um, created a video of, of how to do that um, and you basically have this sort of blank um, organization. I've set up some business details here so I've got an ABN and some contact details set up there um, in the counterparty list um, so so in the previous software there were it was called customer slash supplier slash employees. Um, in Bassoff, I'm calling it counterparty. Um, so we're entering transactions between us and the counterparty being the opposite party to the transaction. Okay, and that means it's an employee, supplier, or customer. Okay, so there are none by default. Um, in the account list, um, there are no accounts there. Um, and tax code list, there's no tax codes there. Um, if you want to set up a, if, you, if you're not migrating from the previous software, you'll want to set up a default chart of accounts. So uh, on this page, file import, there are some links to download some files which have default chart of accounts in them. Um, and you can just download that and then upload it over here and it will create the default accounts and tax codes for you. So um, I'm going to use this page file import and um, import the data I've exported from the old system. And just click upload file and then you get this message saved OK. So back to the menu and clicking on the um, account list can see that it's brought in a whole bunch of accounts. Um, one thing to note uh, that's different from our old system is that there are no measurables in Bassoff. It's j we've combined the measurables with the accounts. So this this normal time thing was previously set up as a measurable in the old software, um, and now uh, normal time is set up with uh, as an account, and it's got a default tax code. So in the previous software the measurable actually link the account and the tax code that link between the account and tax code is done through this default tax code here anyway back to the um, let's have a look at the tax list um, so here, here's all of our um, tax codes um, set up I won't go into it in too much detail in this video um, and let's have a look at the counterparty. So um, there's, there was only two counterparties and this is the employee so um, I'll just click on the employee um, and then click through to the payroll details and um, the important thing here is the um, is actually the TFN declaration so the TFN declaration comes across from the old software um, if you haven't filled it in, in the old software you will need to fill in a TFN declaration um, because when you're lodging um, single touch payroll a lot of the details like tax file number, payroll ID, the name, date of birth and address um, in fact all the um, um, details of the payment arrangement how much um, to withhold uh, are actually coming from the TFN declaration Okay, so let's go and um, pay the employee. So 
probably clicked on that a bit too quick. On the the layout is is basically similar but a different look to to the previous software. So on the left we've got the cache worksheet here, which is where you would have entered your pay slips in the previous software. So I'm just clicking on that. Now we've got um, one pay slip already um, entered for this employee. You'd probably have more because you'd have the full year to date, but for the purposes of demonstration, one is fine. Um, and you just simply choose transaction type pay slip. Um, continuing with the pay cycle, select the 17th. Um, select the employee. Um, now if you've used uh, the, the new versions FAS3 desktop or the other version of BASOF there is um, you'll notice that you need to um, create a batch um, what I've done with this web based version is have it automatically create a batch based on the details you're entering on the payslip so you don't actually need to um, create the batch but because we're because single touch apparel gets lodged with the ATO um, it's the batch that gets lodged so we don't want to lodge have to lodge each individual payslip um, we're going to lodge a group of payslips all in one go um, so I'll point that out when, when, it's, um, when it creates the batch anyway um, the next thing is to select the start date and the end date for the payslip um, you can see there's a lot of other details and they're uh, disabled they come in from the employees um, set up. I'm just going to pay them normal time and put $2,000. Okay, the system is calculating some superannuation and pay as you go with help. And, um, you know, for a basic pay slip, that's all you need. Um, you can add more transaction lines and add things like allowances or um, there is a way to do superannuation, salary sacrifice and this kind of thing. Okay, scrolling down, there is the section on the pay event bracket STP. So this is the single touch payroll information that goes to the ATO. None of this other information uh, on this page goes to the ATO. This is this is exactly what um, is is sent. Um, you can see there's a lot of information that comes in from the TFN declaration, which is why I said you, you should enter one of them for your employees or bring it across from the old software. Um, down the bottom here there are some of totals that can be uh, this is individual non-business and superannuation um, there can be all sorts of other things depending on what's on the payslip so um, these amounts here are the year to date so from 1 July to the current payslip um, and so rather than just the total pay for the payslip it's the full year to date if you haven't if you migrate your data across from the old system, it'll bring in all the old payslips, so that'll um, be used in this year-to-date calculation. If you're not migrating your data across, you will need to enter a prior a payslip prior to the first one you lodge, which actually has the previous year-to-date on it, so that you can get the correct um, year-to-date values here. Okay, once you're happy with the payslip, you just click Save, and it will save the payslip. Okay, and you get this message up the top says saved okay so um, here is the batch it's created and it's put a, a description that's based on the um, from and to date and the um, pay day so it's automatically created the batch for us and so all we need to do now is go and lodge that batch oh if you had other employees of course you'd enter the the pay slips for those employees as well so clicking on the organization name to go back to the menu um, then under reports and lodgements there's an option for single touch payroll uh, batches so clicking on that and we've got the batch that it's created and this is the single touch payroll lodge page so um, most of this is just pretty standard your contact details and address um, one thing to point out here is we've got um, the uh, pay as you go withheld and the total gross payments so you remember that the pay slip totals I pointed out were the year to date these totals here are just for the pay run so um, all your employees but just for the current pay run um, so um, and that's a difference just to just to keep in mind uh, um, 
and and that's just the way the ATO wants it to be lodged. So, so um, yeah. Now, um, if that's all good, just um, tick this box to agree to the declaration, and click the lodge button. At the top, you'll get a message that says lodge is in progress. This page will reload in 70 seconds. It, it it, it says at the beginning and it counts it down. Um, the server is going to poll the ATO for response in 60 seconds. So this is going for 70 seconds just to give it a, a 10 second buffer. Um, there. It, it's a batch lodgement process so um, it's it when you click lodge it does get sent to the ATO um, but the messages don't um, or, well, you have to poll for the messages at later intervals, and it can take, you know, um, several um, minutes or even hours. In fact, we've had we've had it where it was the next day um, to get the messages back. But the thing to keep in mind is that when you click send, it is always sent to the ATO. It's just a matter of waiting for them to process it. Okay, the page is reloaded, and um, in this case, it's um, been lodged within the first, or well, we've got the message back within the first 60 seconds. So, um, um, so yeah, it's it's done. Um, you want to check that you've got this um, uh, green, um, the OK. It says message accepted and then it's got this code that ends in OK and the batch status which is greyed out over here says lodge complete. Um, that's how you know it's been lodged. Um, so it, it, it's not too difficult to process um, single touch payroll or migrate your data across. Um, I hope this video has been useful 